dude, Felipe is playing as Naruto, and we got a Shinobi on our team. We got Shinobi and a Naruto, and someone has black glasses. Man, I wish I had that color. All right, so I'm here right now checking out some of the outfits that I got from Ninja World League 7. And this outfit looks pretty sweet. Look like a Power Ranger almost got this like black robe thing going on. Got this pink visor. Okay, it most makes me think of the Pink Ranger from Power Rangers, but this is the only color I got, I think, right now. But the robe looks cool. Simple, black, almost got like an Organization 13 vibe going for it. Ooh, maybe I should do that. Maybe I should build a character based on Organization 13. Anyway, dude, this looks interesting. I might actually wear that in real life, actually. Well, maybe not that style, because that's not a Western style, but a shirt like that, two-tone like that. I've worn pants that were two-tone like that. I had like green and blue. But anyways, there it is. The Matrix looking outfit. Look like Neo. Or maybe a cooler version of him. But anyway. Alright, so this is basically what I've come up with so far. I chose this swanky striker because it looks like the Matrix looking like Neo out there, which is all cool and all. But it has the abilities that I don't really put together, mainly being shortens ninja tool cooldown time like i really don't use that ability much so this was more of a challenge for me to try and figure out what would go just best with this thing so i decided okay so i'm not going with this mask but i just want to take a moment and say the fact that you can look at the eyes and they're blinking like it's like it's an actual mask from a cartoon even though this game is in cartoon style but like it's a like old batman cartoon or something or Actually, Batman's eyes don't blink. Never mind, this just looks cool. So, I decided Ghost Mask for one, because I love the mask. Like I said, I'm choosing this entire thing based off looks first, but I mean, there were other masks I saw out there, but I also love the Ghost Mask. It looks great. Even though you can still kind of tell who the person is from the side. I mean, it, it hides their face, but if you're looking from the side, even the hair, I mean, who else has blue hair and is black? But, anyways. If I had a, like a, I don't know, something to cover the rest of his head, that'd be great. But regardless, this looks cool. The ability with this thing is that it reduces ninjutsu cooldown time when your health is below a certain level. I reduced the ninja tool cooldown time, now I have reduced ninjutsu cooldown time when my health gets below a certain level. Normally I would pair this with Sharingan. If I'm using an attack type like I am right now, I always use Sharingan, because Sharingan's awesome and I just love it. It's a great ability for this game, especially with my fighting style. Now I chose Ninja Knuckle Knives because they're similar to hand-to-hand -hand combat, similar to just Ninja Knuckles. I just think they look a little bit cooler and I like their combos. I mean, hand-to-hand -hand Ninja Knuckles and Ninja Knuckle Knives have similar combos and they're actually really good. Um, it doesn't have the highest hit rate, which is really what matters when it comes to combos, but I mean, uh, I, I like them. They're still pretty, this hit rate is still pretty good. So I'll go with it. I did kunai because you get four of these things. Like I could have done smoke bomb. Some people like paralysis seal. You only get one of those uh, per thing, one per cooldown. So I mean, eh, decrease cooldown means I could throw it at more people. But the paralysis seal kunai, I've actually had more success with just regular kunai for getting the job done. There we go. Finished off with some kunai. Actually play together. Work together. Finished off with some kunai. Finished off with some kunai. Plus if you hit people with four kunai, three or three or four, they get sent into a hard knockdown and they'll fall below the pits of death. So oh, now the team wants to come here. No, dude, I had a hard knockdown. He would have fell to his death. Oh, he still did. Okay, never mind. So, I mean, yeah, I had more success with Kunai. But anyways, the Jutsu. Flying Raijin level two, and then Wood Style Laughing Buddha Jutsu. In other words, I call it the Happy Hands Jutsu. See, I can support from right here with the Happy Hands. And I can, oh snap, you planetary them? Got you in that KO, boy. Planetary my team one more time. You ain't gonna do it again because I got you with the happy hands for planetary in my team. 
I do regular shadow clone here simply because it's the quickest option that gets people to lock off of you. Like if I did regular substitution or high speed movement, they would keep their lock on. Plus they nerf those to be 20 seconds each. So for an extra five seconds where they lose their lock on to me, I'll do that. I don't really go for a lot of the other 30 second ones because anyone who's paying attention can tell when you've subbed out because your HP bar disappears. So I mean, the moment they see your HP bar disappear, they know you're they know you subbed out so they just dash away so they don't get hit by whatever sub you're using most people and then I did Kamui now I'm trying to learn how to use Kamui I'm really trying to like get better with it what is oh snap hold up Kamui let's go boys let's go oh no one got hit okay eh, I'm trying to get better with it but anyway so that's what I'm going for now we got to go test this thing out who we got nice t-shirt all right so we got someone playing second Okage, that's cool. All right, y'all, let, let's see how you do. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I'm running like, like it's the Matrix. Ah, oh, snap, someone's already coming to, oh, and I subbed. I should not have subbed from that. Leave me alone, Ashley Uchiha. Ooh, my combo worked. If I wasn't hit out of it, it would have worked. If I was not hit out of that, that combo... What in the world is this person teleported all the way over here? As a defense type. Okay, let me let me back up out of this, because I have no health coming to me. But the combo works. Ooh, he is so low. Ooh, I got that KO. And I got someone, oh, no. Oh, snap, oh, snap. I am so low, oh, I died. Okay, never mind. Okay, but the combo works. I saw someone do this on YouTube and submit it to another person's YouTube channel, Vince with SGN. And so, and he was playing with it, but I don't think he played it the way the person on Twitter submitted it to him as. Like, I think the combo is to get the happy hands on him and then hit him with level two while they're stuck in the stunning, the stun animation for it. There you go. That's how the combo works. That's how the combo works. We're a bit late, but that's how the combo works. You don't want none of this. Because the happy hands... Would you... Ah. Because the happy hands, it stuns them long enough for your level 2 to actually do something. So I think that's what he was actually going for. Why did I jump? I was blocking. Why did I jump? Oh, well, they did their ultimate. So I wouldn't be able to block that. Why are they using Earth Killer Explosion as their ult? Anyways, that's not the important thing. The important thing is I'm in fourth right now. And that's not where I w Oh, they're just using like this straight up basic stuff. Come here, you. You didn't sub. I need you to sub. There you go. Get that sub going. Ah, uh, see, I still teleported, but that water dragon thing hit me. Really? How are you already back with a sub? Oh, well, I guess I'm back with a sub too, actually. Really? Sub already? You dodged my wood style. I should have threw Kunai at you. You are so low. I hope no one else gets you. Who is it? Rinku? Rinku? Come here, boy. Oh, you use. Oh, so you're using Sharingan. You're not a defense type. I should have saw that you're attack type. You're using Sharingan. Okay. Well, Rinku, where'd you, where'd you go, Rinku? Please don't die. I need you not to die. 
Ringu, you died. No! Someone hit me out of the ult out of my ultimate with your clay birds. See, that's another thing. Ah, I wish we had like at least some super armor during these ultimates. Really? You hit him out of my thing? Leave him alone! Preston Uchiha is mine! Snap, you subbed out, and I can't sub out right now. You leave me alone! You, Ashley Uchiha, leave me alone! There you go, you subbed out. Okay, level 2 has such bad range. Man, and I got fifth. Why in the world are there skyscrapers on top of, like, on top of the Hokage Mountain? Like, the show does not have skyscrapers, let alone for the fact that we're by Hokage Mountain with the Hokage's office, and then, like, this is the, what we see of the Hidden Leaf. I don't think there's, like, an actual court like this. Like, I know they have blimps now in the Boruto stuff, so that's nothing new. Actually, they had blimps even in Naruto, but, like... I don't know. I don't think the Hidden Leaf here looks like that in the anime, but even if it does... Alright, so now I'm on base battle with this set, right? I don't know a name for this set yet. I don't know what to call it yet, but anyways. And so I don't know how good this will do for base battles, so we're just gonna have to find out. Because, yeah, so yeah, last time I was getting like, I was... Okay, this G2 set could work if people would not hit me out of my G2. See, look at that. Look, someone hit him out of my thing. I don't know if y'all if y'all caught that. But I totally had that. And then someone sent him out of my level 2. But I would have had it. Where is my team? Okay, he subbed out. Oh, and someone's trying to snipe our base from us, our home base. Oh, but they didn't work. That didn't work for him. Oh, snap. Oh snap, no! Don't don't take me out. Well I got that person, but they got the base though. And so and the base is the objective. I don't know what the rest of my team was doing though. Like why was it only me and then I think one other person was there? Like, come on guys. What what's going on here? That's right. Pop the Jizo, man. The fact that the fact that the Happy Hands Jutsu doesn't break through Sand Shield. Ooh, and I just got sniped with that air move thing. Oh, that's the range type from last time. Okay. There we go. We got someone else with our own thing here. That's right. Back up out of here. Okay, I wasn't close enough to use happy hands. Okay, seriously team, oh my gosh, the knockback! I thought I would have had that. I thought I would have had that. Okay, well let me go snipe their base. Since they all about sniping ours and holding down B. As long as no one from their team dies, I should have this. Because they're all, really? Someone's back at ours? Seriously? Can we not even hold our home base? 
We can't even hold our home base. That is so sad. See, now would have been the perfect time for Kamui. Oh yeah! Got you with that Kamui, boys. What you gonna do, or girls, whoever you are, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Boom! That person is super low, but their healer's gonna heal them. Stay away from our base. You don't want none of this. Oh, really? Sand shield and no one has anything to break sand shield? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Kamui? Does Kamui break sand shield? Yes, it does. Because Kamui... Oh, snap. I died. No, you can't. Okay, I can't do level two on the frog. See, if I had something like Almighty Push, I could have could have handled that much better. Really, really, and no one has done anything. It's okay. Yo, this is the outro for Shinobi Striker, and if you like what you see, please become a subscriber. The quality of vids will only become higher. Give me a thumbs up, sum up in the comment section if you like or dislike this video's direction, and I'll see you in the next beta testing. Zaykin out. <laughs> Just messing. But nah, seriously y'all, why in the order there skyscrapers? There, there should not be skyscrapers. Anyways. If you like what you've seen so far, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and you know, tell me in the comments section what you thought of the video, what you thought of the build, what you thought of the game itself, or even tell me something you didn't like so I can improve on it later. And maybe you can also tell me why in the world there are skyscrapers in this game that takes place in a time period where there are no skyscrapers. Like, yeah, that makes no sense to me. But, whatever. Holla. Zaking out.